YouTube. Uh, this video is how to set up your uh, your Amcrest. This one's 1080p. Um, if you have set it up already and uh, you go to get a new router um, and you have different settings and so on, you're going to try and set this up and it's going to be a nightmare for you. So I'm going to create this video to um, try and show you how to uh, do it easily. There's a video on there um, by Amcrest to do it. I watched it like 16 times and it still didn't really help me. So um, I decided to make this video to help uh, everybody else. Anyway, so there's my new router. Um, before we get started, you know, you can pause this. But this uh, blue cable is just a uh, uh, Cat5 cable that I have plugged into the back of my router right now. So you should pause it plug this into the back of your router and get it ready because uh, when we reset this thing you're gonna need it. Um, I have another iPhone so we'll go through all the settings um, on that. Right now it is set up and I guess I'll, I'll show you that. Actually I had it in here. Sorry, bear with me. So you can see it's uh, set up right now, I can move it. See? So that is the camera working right now. So it is set up on my new router. Um, so what you're going to be doing is trying to get it set up on a new router. So we're going to pretend that I just went out and I bought um, a new router because that's probably what you guys did. So, like I said, make sure that's ready to go, and um, now that you're unpaused, probably, here's what we got to do. So, first thing we got to do is we have to unplug the power from the unit, and it's going to make it uh, do a restart. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So, watch that red light. It's going to initialize. The camera will turn, which you already know if you've had this before. Um, and because you've had this before, you have seen it do this. And so I tried a million ways, you know, hitting this button, all kinds of stuff to get it to reset, and it just wouldn't work. So there's a bunch of steps you actually have to do. Once it reinitializes, um, you're going to see a, that red light turn green because it's found our network again. Now it relocates itself to the view that it was last at. And we're just waiting for that light to turn green. And there we go. So the green light, it's not blinking, which means it's found it. When it's green, that means it, sorry, blinking means it hasn't found, or it, ha it won't connect to the, inter to the network or to your router. A solid green like that means that it is connected and ready to go. So what, what you have to do, so you have to push that button in for 30 seconds. Really, it's less than that. You'll see it turn red, keep holding, and then you'll feel it kind of like tap you. Once you feel that, you can just let it go. It's gonna reinitialize again, and then it's just gonna start blinking. Basically, what you've just done is wiped out the memory of this unit, and then it's gonna allow us to uh, start the whole process all over again, which is what has been the nightmare. So I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. Basically what I just did is lost the internet connection. So I'm just still holding it in. You'll see it turn red. And now it's just tapped me. I can keep holding it here, but I'm just gonna let it go. Um, as soon as you feel that little tap, just let it go. So now it's wiped out. So now I'm kind of in rough shape again. I'm gonna have to try and get it to work. Hopefully this does work which it did before. So when this uh, red light is done, you'll see a blinking green light. And um, that blinking green light is because um, it can't connect to our internet anymore. So I'll just bear with it. See how it's blinking green now? So now, it won't connect to our internet. So now you gotta grab your phone that you have the other app on it. And 
So because you've had this app and you had it already working, see it's not going to connect, whatever. Just tap here, go to Device Manager. Now that's your home cam. Well, that's what I named mine. You can name it whatever you want. You have to delete that. Um, so you can start all over again. Hit yes. So now we get nothing. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add. Uh, so this is Device Manager. We're going to add device, sorry. And we're going to add a Wi Fi camera, but we're going to do it over Ethernet. So we're going to tap that. And now basically it's telling you to plug it in. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to grab my cable. That's why I told you guys to have it ready to go. And I'm going to try and connect this thing with one hand. So we're connected now. Uh, you got to give it like 30 seconds or at least till you see it turn green again. So now that you see it turn green, it means it's, it's actually talking to the new router. So we're going to hit next because it's connected. Uh, let's ensure your smartphone or tablet is connected to your Wi-Fi network and then tap next. So it is connected right there. Now this router has three different connections. Um, these cameras only will go to 2.4 gigahertz. Mine has two spots with five and one of 2.4. Um, so if you have that same issue, you have to make sure that, um, so we can just get out of here for a second. You have to make sure you're on your, your home network that is, uh, um, just bear with me a second, because I have to switch networks. That's the, uh, all right, so I'm done. I had to put it on the 2.4 side so that it will talk, it will communicate. Um, so now that we're all set, ensure your smartphone or tablet is connected to your Wi-Fi network, and then tap next, so it is. I'm gonna hit next. So now I have to put this phone down because I have to scan the bottom of that, so bear with me a second. Okay, so that's done. Um, scanned. So you can give your device uh, a name. That device, I mean, not your phone. And uh, we'll just call it, for now, Home. Actually, Home Cam. Here we go. Uh, you have a default username and password. You can just keep it default right now. And then hit Next. And it's going to try and connect. Successful. So now you have to pick your network, and then you'll have to tap in your SSID. Um, see how it's on the 2.4? That's what it's connected to right now. So you're going to have to put the um, what, whatever your home uh, SSID is, and then you're going to have to put, or you can find it through here, whichever one it is, and then you have to put your password for it. So bear with me a second. I'm going to do that. done. So mine is a guest and obviously my password's blanked out and um, so you just basically you're selecting whichever one is yours and um, and then you, you have to put your password in and then just hit next and now it's going to try and connect. Camera successfully connect connected, and you can see where it says, please remove the ethernet cable now. Wait 30 seconds, then tap start live view. So I'm gonna put that down. We're gonna disconnect the ethernet cable. Now you'll notice that the light is still green because that means it is on our new router, ready to go. So now we're waiting the, the 30 seconds. Um, I'm going to give it a few because I didn't actually count in my head or anything because I'm talking to you guys. And um, so now I'm going to, I think it's about 30 seconds. Start live view. And 
And what should happen, if I remember, um, it'll ask you for a, uh, a password. If this doesn't work, and it might not, um, the reasoning would be because it's on the same, I don't think it's going to work, it's on the same uh, Wi-Fi. Remember you saw that I sele had selected, um, so with the iPhone you can just get out of that for a second. And I'm going to get it, basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it on, remember I told you I had the 2.4 side and then I have a 5, two five sides. So I'm going to put it on the 5 side now and get it back, get it off the 2.4, so bear with me a second. This is one of the reasons that I uh, wanted to do this video because I just kept trying so many times and uh, it wouldn't work. So now my Wi-Fi is on the 5 gigahertz side. And you see it's still green light. Just kept it admin and because that's the default um, sorry this is happening all right device already exists hold on let's get back I'm just gonna go all the way back It will work, trust me. It's just a pain. You can see that it is still green, so it's on the network. The issue is the phone um, trying to connect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close out of that app. Sometimes you have to do that. I'm going to go back to the original side. Maybe it was just the app I had to close out of. So I'm back on the um, 2.4 side, and I have to find the stupid app, because I closed out of it. Now the app is reopening, obviously. the one that we had set up. It should connect like way quicker than that. Close it. Sorry guys. And press view. Um, tap this as if you're looking for a camera. Add device. Wi-Fi camera. Add an already connected camera. Now we have to scan it again. Sorry guys, I had to put you down for a second so I could scan it. Uh, the name was Home Cam. It's right there already. Admin, admin, start live view. Device already exists. 
Awesome. What that means is the device already exists on this um, phone. Because that's what we use to set it up. Phone cam. Um, tap on the little pencil. Start my view. Ah, finally. See how many times it took? So just follow this and you just gotta close up, open, close and open, blah, blah, blah. Now that this has popped up, um, you know how the default was admin, admin? Here's where you're gonna change uh, and give it an actual password. Um, so I'm gonna do that now, just bear with me a second. You have to do it twice. Boom, we're back in business. So this video took 16 minutes and 30 seconds um, and you can see how much of a pain it is. Um, why it is, I don't know. So just keep watching this video back and forth. Um, literally this should save you hours because I've been working on this all day. Uh, like I said, the video really doesn't help you with the technical difficulties that you were um, seeing me go through. Uh, so just do exactly what I did and just keep doing it until finally it pops up. But you'll be able to see, tap on that and I'll be able to move the camera. See? So we do have full functionality of the camera now. And it's back on our network. So anyway, YouTube, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or, you know, need me to help you out with it, I'll be more than happy to. Um, but hopefully this helps you guys out. So just make sure you plug in your, your cable to your new router first, um, and then just follow the steps as we went along. All right, guys. Thanks.